my name's Jamie Wild and today we're at Messingham Sands on the Trip Pond and we're going to do some closing fishing for some big carp hopefully. Today's tactics will be paced down sides over a bit of ground bait and pellets, fishery pellets only and, uh, and I'm going to fish corn and pellets at 4 metres. Uh, for, for my ground bait today I'm going to use marine halibut, dynamite baits, uh, I think it's an heavy mix which goes straight at bottom, I think it causes a lot less liners, plenty of particles in it and for my paste I'm just going to use ordinary green swim steam which is a nice nice ground bait which breaks down steady and makes superb paste. Right, our mix this is just pure and simple really, two bags will do your match, into your bucket, there's no need to riddle, two pints of water, get your hands in, mix it up. So it's really wet, that'll be dry by the time I've tattled up and plumbed up, that'll be perfect to use, there's no need to riddle, just straight through your hands like that, and that's it, job done. For my paste, uh, as I said, green swim steam, pint and half of water, and basically half a bag just mix it up like that you want to over wet it so it's like soap and then it'll stiffen up as session goes on and uh, in no time that'll just be a normal paste just get your hands in bit of a fiddly job but once it's done it's done as I say it's a paste you're not riddling it and it's just as simple and easy as that to mix. Right, leave that to one side. As I say, it's fish repellents only here. So, for feed, four mils, two pints. Get your water, cover them straight over. For every mill of your pellets, two mil, two minutes, four mil, four minutes. So we'll leave them for four minutes and they'll be bang on. I'm going to also be feeding some micros. Same again, just into it water. Two pints, plenty of bait here. Cover them up, two mils, two minutes. And that's it, job done. I've got some fishery hookers, which you've got to use here. They're a six mil soft pellet, just as an alternative bait, and sweet corn. And that's it. I've kept it nice and simple today, two rigs. Uh, first of all, this is my margin rig. It's, uh, we've got a brown hydro to a Gaz Malman Snake 4 in a 4 by 12 uh, 022 straight through to a size 12 mustard power carp. Choice of float is simple, you need a float that's indestructible, you're going to be catching a lot of fish, big fish that's going to be going through reeds uh, and there's only one float choice for me personally to use which I know that float will last me all day going through reeds like this and that's a Gaz Malman Snake 4 right for my other rig uh, this is my rig in front it's a power pencil big fish also a Gaz Malman uh, this is in a point 4 same again another indestructible float with a nice visible bristle that can hold a, a decent bait uh, that's red hydro through to an 018 bulk of 5 number 8s, 2 number 10 droppers and a size 14 Tubertini number 2 First things first, um, I'm going to go on my top 4 line keep feeding my margin line I'm going to fish a soft pellet, just keep feeding 4s put 3 balls of ground bait in, marine That'll have broke up nicely, I can see it starting to have a little fizz. So we'll have a go and see what happens. I 
And to no signs on this line as yet. Odd little minor dips. But I've seen a few fish in my margin swim. So let's have a go. See what happens. Fishing down this side into these reeds, uh, I've had probably 15 to 20 carp from 8 ounce to 9 pound. Been feeding just down here in some really shallow water, 6 inch maybe, just throwing a few pellets in, a bit of ground bait, and I've just seen a few tails start coming up and a few fish moving about, so let's see if we can catch up.
Well, we've just finished and uh, it's been a cracking day. Probably had between 120 to 150 pound. Uh, set off on my top four rig in four and a half foot of water. Couple of carp, but they seem like they wanted to be in that shallow water. Gone down in these reeds here, fishing pace. Uh, and I've had one most droppings from probably pound and a half to eight pound. I've been feeding this side here, that side's a foot, foot and a half, this size six to eight inch deep. I've fished back on myself here, I've been throwing pellets in and kept putting some ground bait in and eventually it's just been solid with them and I've had one every dropping down there. Probably had 90 pound in there in the last hour, hour and a half. Fish for three hours, it's been a cracking session and I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you.